All right, so these people on the internet, in Facebook, in the group Illuminati, and on my YouTube channels, they constantly say, you know, why are you punching the air? And things of this nature. I've actually posted a match where I won 10-0, and sometimes I explain that to them. And then they go silent. But they bring up, even without that, it does not make sense that they bring up why you're punching the air. And they're trying to make it seem like I'm crazy for quote-unquote punching the air when that is typically what martial artists do to train. You know, when Bruce Lee was doing his demonstrations on national TV, he would show how fast he is, you know, or whatever, and he'd punch the air, you know. So, you know, quote, you know, if, you know, if that's what you want to call it, but really it's just doing a punch without hitting something it's not punching the air and even when they they put it that way the way they put it is another way to try to play you out and you can draw parallels in this case me you can draw parallels between that and psychiatry how they misinterpret your behavior you sometimes on purpose to then make you seem like you're crazy and to downplay your valid point in this case it's my challenge what, what do you think about that You're throwing punches in the air, like you said. They're trying to uh, they're trying to confuse you and trying to make you think that you don't know what you're doing. I think that's what the, when they're saying stuff like that. But that is part of martial arts, like shadow boxing. So <laughs> they're just uh, they're trying to make you feel like that you don't know how to know what you're doing, or you know how, to, or you don't know how to fight. They're trying to be like this critic, and they don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and and do you think it's done on purpose, or they're really just ignorant? You know, do you think they they I know? I think it's done on purpose. Yeah, they know it's a stupid thing to say. I think it's done on purpose. It's a whole psychological, um, it's, it's psychological warfare. Everything that they do is like scripted. All the uh, perps and everything that's involved, and um, they surround us with perps. In our lifetime, um, perpetrators, gang, so-called uh, cost stalkers, gang stalkers, they um, force their presence on you, and they pretend to be uh, followers, or they pretend to be friends on Facebook, and that's what they do. You know. I think it's fair to say that when you see a group of trolls on pe on a person who usually gets, you know, less than 50 views per video, that it's a, pretty much a definite sign of a psych op and gang stalking because trolls yes. usually go to, you know, they go to videos that get a lot of views, you know, especially if there's a, a group of them. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they're, they're all agents. They're agents. They're paid to do that. They're uh, CIA officers, uh, FBI agents that are put on us and they're very, they, they mess with the numbers on likes, like likes on your uh, page or views. And it's all a psych psychological warfare. So they want, not only are they doing it to the target, but they're doing it to people that might be interested in the target. Because the, everything is, they're playing with people's minds. So if they go to your videos and they see you have like two views, the average person that doesn't know this is a psych op, they'll actually think, that, oh, maybe he's unimportant, or maybe he's not good, that's why he doesn't have that many views. But they're actually fiddling with the numbers. That's what they do. They do it to me all the time. And matter of fact, on um, the interview that we did last time, I checked on uh, YouTube on one account, and it said 24 views right after you posted it. And then on another account, when I went to it, it said 14 views. I mean, 14 likes or uh, views or one of the other. Views. Um, one, one last quick question. Okay. Don't you see that, especially the way I'm explaining it and all the proofs I've given, the damning interviews I have with perps themselves admitting that they were told to provoke me, to get me involuntarily admitted in the psych ward, the interview or, or the, the covert recording I did with my mom admitting that the that the air you know, was um, messing up her respiratory system, she could feel it in her chest, that she thought I should sleep some, in a different room. She went as far as to say that with no, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't ask her that. She brought that up herself. So don't you see that, you know, don't you think that they see, rather, that this is something that uh, people are going to notice that I'm very good. They're going to notice that they're running a psych op on me. 
And when all is said and done, it's going to reinforce the idea that I'm the top martial artist in the long run <laughs> instead of take away from it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How, how, could, they, uh, how, how could they miss that? You know, why would they keep doing it? How could they not see that that's the result of all this? Once again, uh, look at psychiatry. You know, they're a bunch of crazies, <laughs> the shrinks. They're a bunch of crazies. So these are the ones uh, running these psy psyops on us, psychops or uh, psychological warfare on us. Uh, these crazies. They're crazy. They actually, they're not sick. And they believe what they're doing is actually cool or they're trying to get over on us and they're better than us. They already think that in their mind. They think that we're lower than us. So they think everything that they're doing is uh correct or it's gonna fool us but in actuality um it's all a failure because like you said um people will start to realize that um you've been telling the truth all along and you don't even need to prove it you know they're actually proving it for you you know by running all these psychological operations on us and on uh, people that have uh certain powers and uh, physical abilities um this is what they do you know, they don't want us to be noticed in the world to take the shine off of them and their crazy, deluded mind. <laughs> huh? and, yeah, and, and also, uh, one last thing. I, I, I didn't want to make it this long, but I'll say one more thing. You know, I think I brought it up in an interview with you before, but I want to make sure that this is heard and gets out there. The fact that they're giving me performance-reducing drugs. Okay, I recently did a video about how, I think it was my last video, where I said that, you know, I, I highlighted the statistics that about, um, I think it was 3% of the general population or something took performance-enhancing drugs, and 5% of the college athletes or something like that took performance-enhancing drugs. It was pretty high, you know, you know, when you think about it. And yet, they're giving me performance reducing drugs. Well, one in 20 college athletes admits to taking performance enhancing drugs. It's safe to say that a lot of martial artists, especially the more competitive ones, are taking performance enhancing drugs. But yet, they're drugging me with performance reducing or performance impairing drugs. And yet, they still can't beat me. Doesn't, you don't you see how that makes it even more? Not only, did, not only have they reinforced the idea that I'm the top martial artist, but they have reinforced the idea that I'm the top martial artist, even though I'm being covertly drugged. Yeah, it's just reinforcing that. <laughs> they, have to go all, <laughs> they have to go all the way out of their way to commit a crime to you, which is um, poisoning you and gassing you and um, trying to uh, give you poisons that are... Um, making your performance uh, a weak performance and it's still stronger than something that they can ever do. And they're just, they're going crazy probably right now because everything that they're doing is a failure. These people are narcissists. Like I said, they, they think that everything that they're doing when they're doing it is going to happen a certain way. And then they realize the outcome is, um, it's just like, um, karma for them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm going to end it there. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome.